day making videos if you see this shirt <laughs> I just had it on in the day before a video but it's okay um I'm out running errands and you know as I see comments come up on my phone I'm trying to answer them so bear with me you guys trying to get these videos out and I promise you all that in the month of August you will get to know me so a subscriber asked how my husband and I met and I thought that I would uh, and I you know honestly I want to get him involved in the channel more and I think that would be a great topic for me and him to do so I think I should say that I think I should say that and ask him to do a video of how we met what do you guys think in the comment box below would you like to see my husband and I do a video of how we met if you do I will um yes mobile order for Christy I'm at Dunkin Donuts if you do I will, um, I'll try to get them to make that video soon. So what else can we talk about? I wish I was live because if I was live, how are you? Because if I was live, then whatever you ask me on the screen, I can answer. But since I'm not live, thank you. You too. I'm at Dunkin Donuts. I get this coffee every day. It's an iced medium decaf, three creams, a shot of French vanilla, three shots of caramel swirl, and three shots of liquid cane, liquid cane sugar. That's my perfect combination. If it doesn't taste like it tastes today, I don't want it. I just love it. So anyway, let me try to think of another topic. Oh, well, I'm trying not to talk about mobile homes though. I'm out and about running errands. Amazon actually buys your safety shoes from Zappos. I'll try to put a picture of what my safety shoes look like. I picked out the color. Don't judge me. Don't talk about me. I know they're ugly. I thought they were going to look different. And I, can, I can't wear them with everything. I should have really got black and been done with it. But purple is my favorite color. And I thought that they would be much cuter because they're from Reebok and they're ugly. Okay. However, they are so comfortable. So Zappos has a work shoe um, department where, and they make all of these great safety shoes. And the inserts that come with the shoes are absolutely wonderful. So anyway, all you have to do is go to the Amazon link for Zappos, zappos.com slash whatever that Amazon's code is. And you put in your work login and when you pick the shoes that you want, and then when you check out, they're, the balance is zero. So my shoes were $114, and the Amazon discount was $114. It covered the shipping, it covered everything. It was more than 100, it was like 123. So anyway, the shoes came in like three days. Didn't care for the color. We've already discussed that. However, the actual shoes they I, it feels like you're walking on cotton okay they feel absolutely wonderful so I was so impressed with the way that the shoes felt that I wanted my husband to have a pair so I ordered him a pair and I'll put the picture his look much better 
I'll put the picture of the ones that I ordered for him here too. So the shoes came, his, he wears a 10, 10 to 10 and a half. I bought him a 10 and a half. I paid $123 for them. They came, he put them on and he can't get past the fact that they look so big on his foot. And he says that the toe kind of like goes up like that. I think it's because of the composite toe. It kind of makes him flip up a little bit. But he just couldn't get past it. And I told him to wear them one night at work and see how they do. But he just couldn't. He couldn't do it. So I just dropped those shoes off at UPS. Um, I couldn't get back into the account that I set up. I had the right email, but it kept saying that the password is wrong. And y'all, my password is only one of three options. So I don't know why I couldn't get in. I tried a couple of times last night. I did a forgot password. It wouldn't work. And customer service was closed. So when I got up today, I called them. They were super nice. They were super helpful. I literally was on hold for like one minute before somebody answered. I literally just had to get through the automated part. So they have this long message that probably answers a lot of questions. It answers why your shoes are taking so long to get to you. It answers um, how to return, all kind of stuff. And I think the idea is to have your questions answered so you don't have to actually speak with someone. But then at the end, if you still need to um, talk to someone, you just hold. So I held, and literally 30 seconds after that, she answered. She verified my address, my email, all of that stuff. Pulled my account right up. Asked me if I wanted the label or the QR code that UPS could scan. Did I want a UPS pickup or a drop off? I wanted a drop off because I wanted to go ahead and drop it off today. We're not home enough to do a pickup. And then she asked if I wanted to print my own label or her send me a QR code and I chose the QR code. And then she said, I'll hold until you tell me you got the email. So I checked my email and it was already in there and I'm like so impressed with them. The experience was amazing. It was amazing. It, I wish that Amazon automated system was that fast. It was just super fast and so amazing and I was so satisfied with their customer service and they actually sent me a survey I'm going to make sure that I do the survey because she was absolutely amazing and you know you just can't get customer service like that anyway way anywhere so I was headed to Walmart to um, I'm not going to turn on my camera, so don't even look for a video. I'm making something that I just made, and I know you guys don't want to see it again. I'm going to fry some fish tonight. We have been eating fried fish every day, okay? we That fryer does the fish so much justice. We had whiting one day. We had catfish yesterday. Today, we're eating flounder. I'm going to go grab some shrimp to go with it. And I I got a bag of potatoes. I'm going to mash them, but I'm going to do some loaded potatoes this time. And I am going to whip them with sour cream. I might do a video. I mean, y'all just like for me to cook with you. So, but... If it doesn't get a lot of views, I know it's because I just made the same meal. <laughs> and y'all just saw this video. But I'm going to do the potatoes a different way. We had mashed potatoes last time. This time we're going to have loaded mashed potatoes. But I'm going to mix in sour cream and cheese and green onion. Um, and most recipes call for bacon, but we don't really eat a lot of pork. Because my husband, it, it raises both me and my husband's blood pressure instantly like we can't really do the pork so 
we love pork, but it's just got too much salt in it. So, and if you guys remember, maybe a month ago, I went through this thing where my pressure was high every day to the point of a headache that I couldn't function with. And it's scary. It puts you at stroke level. It puts you at risk. We, I just, we can't afford it. So we can't afford to put ourselves at risk for anything health-wise. And this pandemic is so hard to get to the doctor. If somebody has to go to the doctor, the other one can't be there to know and understand what's going on. We recently lost his brother who had a heart attack. Um, and we weren't even able to go to the hospital to see him. We had to make a decision to take him off of life support because he was basically already gone. The machines were keeping him alive. There was, um, without a reasonable doubt, that he was never going to recover. He was brain dead. So we took him off of life support and we couldn't even go to the hospital to see him before we did. The funeral home picked him up. We couldn't see him once he was at the funeral home. We couldn't go and make arrangements. We did everything over the phone and they mailed us. We had him cremated and they mailed us his remains. So the process now is so not, it's not intimate at all for if somebody's sick, if somebody passes away or anything. So we're trying to stay as healthy as we can um, and take care of ourselves. So we don't really do pork. Um, oh, I could put some shrimp. I could put the shrimp in the loaded mashed potatoes and then have the fish on the side. That's what I could do. I could saute the shrimp. I could saute the shrimp or I could make a cream sauce in the shrimp and put those on the loaded potato. I don't know how to think about that because my husband's real particular about what he eats. So we'll see. Ooh, I could do a shrimp alfredo instead of the potatoes and have fish on the side too. That sounds good too little broccoli y'all if you see broccoli every other day it's because there are but a few veggies that my husband will eat and broccoli's one of them he will eat broccoli so I try to get it in them just like with a kid you got to do what they like to get it get it in them so while I'm figuring out dinner I'm headed up to my mom's house and I'm caught in traffic. If I had known traffic looked like this, I would have went the back way. I'm caught in traffic. And I, I'm coming up on an exit. I think I'm going to get over and get off the exit and try to make it to her house. Because I'm in a time crunch. Oh, I got a watch charger in here. My watch was on the charger all night. And it's dead, y'all. But I do have, for when I'm headed to work and I need to charge my phone, look, just came on, totally dead. So let's try to charge it in the car. Um, so that's what I'm out doing today. But last minute I talked to my mom and she told me to come now. She had some stuff for me and she had some money she had to give me to go take care of something. So gonna go do that and then I'm gonna get back and go to the store um which one do you think I'm gonna make am I gonna make the mashed potatoes the loaded mashed potatoes with shrimp or am I going to make the shrimp alfredo what do you think so y'all tell me what you think I'm gonna make because whatever I make will be posted after this video so what do you think I'm going to make? What am I going to post tomorrow? Put it down in the comment section below. That'll be a fun topic. And also, what dishes do you guys want to see? Because see, my husband and I are creatures of habit. We like what we like. Okay? We like what we like. So, 
what do you want to see me make? Like, what dish would you like to see me make? And if it's something that I could get my husband to make, I will make it. But a lot of you love my cooking videos. So tell me what you want to see, and I will see what I can do. All right, well, anyway, I've been rambling on for about 10 or 15 minutes. I know I'm going to cut some stuff out, so probably I'm at 15, 25, so you'll probably get about 12 minutes, 12 or 13 minutes of this. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I am also going to throw in the last place that I visited. I haven't posted any video at this point. I haven't posted any of their videos yet. But let me go ahead and say this: if you made it to the end of this video, and if you like my mobile home tours, I do have a new series starting. Um, starting um, I just posted the last cab code I'm pretty sure I just posted the last cab code home by the time you see this video beautiful home and now I'm moving on to a new series um, from a new place yes mobile and let me just say this that I know you guys like the biggest and baddest houses that they have and I know that I'm already going to get comments. I don't like seams. That house looks cheap. Da, 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 da. I already know it because I, I recognize the quality of, quality of home that everybody wants to see. But let me say this. Before the negative Nancy start, there is a home and a price point for everyone. Most people that buy a mobile home go the mobile home right route because it's less expensive and you can get a whole home land included for less than you could anywhere else and I was one of them my husband and I didn't have a lot of money we didn't choose the biggest and baddest house we choose we actually chose the first house we saw that we could afford because when we were searching online the houses that I was picking out, if that was my choice, the houses that I was picking out, we couldn't afford. It, all the things that I wanted, all the things that I saw and loved in these houses. And when we got to the dealership, it wasn't within our price range. And having talked to me and knowing what I wanted in a house, I had some requirements. Had to have an island had to be open concept had to have two sinks in the master bath that's all I wanted she had a house in mind when we got there she showed it to us it was the perfect color it had everything I asked for and my husband and I was like this is it so you know bottom line is you may not care for this house or it may not be what you are looking for as the viewer and most people that comment and call the houses ugly or cheap are not even in the market to buy one. It's discouraging to somebody that really likes the house. That can, that everybody wants the biggest and baddest, but everybody can't afford it. And some people are more than happy to settle for what they can afford and make it what they want. So let's not discourage the people that really need or want this house from liking it let's not just do that you guys so the next series that i'm gonna be posting I, i'm already gonna tell you now that these are not cap codes okay these are not deer valleys but these houses are for somebody somebody out there and i i saw a lot of potential in each one of them so i hope that you watch it with um unbiased opinions let's talk about the good in the houses let's if it's not your choice okay that's okay you you don't have to buy it but let's not discourage somebody who this house will be perfect for okay thanks so much for watching you guys I'll, I'll actually try to post one of those houses tomorrow please watch the videos and let's be encouraging to whoever's out there that's shopping 
and looking for the perfect house for them. Okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. I'll see you in the next video.